bitch came around me. Talking about one, two, three pieces of air. She fell straight to the ground. Boom. Her ugly ass friends jumped in. Everybody in the fucking neighborhood who knows me was there. <laughs> Lined up. Right? Tell me why I'm getting jumped. And one of them motherfuckers jumped in. Just one. And it wasn't until I got kicked in the head that they decided to get me up. But let me explain. Hey, Daddy. Yeah. Let me talk my shit. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 Uh. Yeah. I was fucking with this virgin ass bitch. Wait, let me talk my shit. Let me tell you about this bitch. See? What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host. And today, I'm back with another reaction. Nope. <laughs> I'm back with another mukbang. More mukbangs like this, please give this video a thumbs up. If y'all want to see more mukbangs like this, put it down in the comment section below. Let's get to this video. So, Today, I am talking about two things. The intervention and the time I got jumped. So, the intervention I keep telling y'all about was, you know, everybody, when everybody found out, they wanted to ask me, like, yo, we got to holler at you. <laughs> I'm like, what? Mm -hmm. At that point in my life, I was over it. But I felt like, Everybody was all in my business. And it's just crazy because as a gay person, people feel like they have to know. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just cause I'm gay, you gotta know. Why? You know what I'm saying? Just cause you straight, I don't have to know you straight. You know, but it was like, you could have just told us. And it was like, tell you what? Like, what? why do I have to tell you that? But anyway, so they like, you know, we gotta holler at you. I'm like, what's up? Well, you know, right around the school, is you gay? Is that true? Um, we had a relationship where we could tell each other anything, right? I get that. But it's not the easiest thing to come out to somebody and say I'm gay. Unless you just walk it like you're talking. When you like males and, you know, like girls too, <clears throat> it's like people want to know. So, everything I used to get offended by, because I'm thinking, they thinking, I like them. And I hate those types of females. They be so loud. He better stop playing that dumbass piano. <laughs> but, they be, you know, they have you thinking, they think that you like them. Straight people. Let me make something very clear. Don't nobody want to show ass. You know what I'm saying? We all have eyes of our own. And we could watch you know, we could look at whoever or whatever, but don't think somebody wants you. You know what I'm saying? Just because they gay. We do have a type. You know what I'm saying? But, um, so, I think that's a little bit of what it was. And also, I just want to know. So, we had a whole sit down about why you gay. When did this happen? Are you sure? You know, have you done anything with a girl? And shit like that. And after talking for hours, crying and shit, niggas crying. It was like, you would have thought I was pregnant or something. <laughs> you could have told us. At that time, being a lesbian was like a trend. Like, Oh, she's just doing it because she doing it. You know what I'm saying? Now, at some point, for other people, it was. You know? Like, hmm, I'm curious. I'm a freak and I want to try it. By the way, after after all that, all my friends tried it with a girl at least once. Dated a girl. Hell, Tori smashed two of them. But she got to tell you that. <laughs> I had to tell you that story time, but it was just like, I don't know. They wanted to know. But like I said, hours later of all that, we got it together. The intervention story is boring. Hmm. Let me tell y'all about the time I got jumped. Remember the dude that I said I was in love with, right? But this is another story. 
Oh, if y'all want that story time, y'all gonna have to spam hell yeah for real, for real. Listen, we was at a friend house. Me and him was about to do nasty. But he went down on me. Told his friends he didn't. The reason why they know is because they bust through the door. Child, if y'all want that story time, let me know. Now that's a good ass story time. The reason why I got jumped was because of that. <laughs> I can't really get, I can't get into why. Just know I got jumped and it was because of him and I can tell you that story time when you say hell yeah. So, he had a friend, he called his sister. He was mad at me about that. He wanted her to fight me. Now, I don't even remember how we ended up, how they, like, how I ended up finding out she wanted to fight me, but it happened. So, she said that she was coming to the neighborhood, you know what I'm saying, to scrap. And I'm like, bet, I was down for whatever. You know, for real. That's why I gave zero fucks. Let's get it. So, boom. She pulls in the neighborhood. Got three bitches with her. Now, y'all seen a picture of me. I'm going to put a picture up. That's my prom picture. That's the size I was. I always had a little muscle because I played basketball, but I wasn't, you know what I'm saying, muscular, you know. But nobody would ever fight me one-on-one. I always had to get jumped and shit when I was in high school anyway. So, <clears throat> boom. She hops out the car. My stupid ass bitch came around me talking about one, two, three piece of ass. She fell straight to the ground. Boom. Her glass friends jumped in. Everybody in the fucking neighborhood who knows me was there. <laughs> Lined up. Right? Tell me why I'm getting jumped. And one of them motherfuckers jumped in. Just one. And it wasn't until I got kicked in the head that they decided to get me up. But let me explain. Boom. Bop, 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 bitch. You know what I'm saying? She fell back, whatever. I turn around. The other girls came because she was getting her ass whooped. They jumped. I'm on the ground like these. And I didn't want to get kicked in my face. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm not about to, what you don't want to do, unless you real fast, is just try to hurry up and get up. Cause you don't get fucked up that way. Kicked in the face, all kind of shit. And nowadays, they really don't care. So, I'm just like this, because I don't want to get kicked in my face. But they got me in the head. Ooh, one good time. And if I could see that bitch today, I would get on a business. Do you and me? Anyway, my other, my brother baby mama jumped now. She jumped in. Now, she got them hands. She whooped by two of them. I'm talking about she whooped them. <laughs> and then after that, my grandma came outside and all of that. But when I tell y'all, I, I remember everything from my childhood. And I don't forget nothing. I never liked the fact that all of them didn't jump in. And if you watching, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> y'all should have jumped in. Like, our whole life got jumped. And until it was time, you know what I'm saying? Until I'm on the ground, that's when you want to jump in. Anyway. I was very grateful for her jumping in because I, I was about to get dragged. Dragged. So, boom. It wasn't over. The next day, my parents was out of town. The next day, I was so... Like, that night, I couldn't sleep. I was so fucking mad. Oh, my God. Furious. And I knew I was going to see that bitch at school. We get to the school. I couldn't find her, right? But we had a class right beside each other. Now, I had seen her at one point during the day, and I think um, I was like, yeah, bitch, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to get her after school. She said whatever she was saying, popping her lip. They separated us, whatever. We got the class beside each other. It was trailers. She on one side talking shit. I'm on the other side talking shit. Nobody would let me get to her. And this wasn't a whole, like people used to hold you back to the point where you couldn't fight nobody. <clears throat> or you gonna fight them because they trying to hold you back so much. Like don't hold me back. You know what I'm saying? If I'm gonna do it, if I'm making the decision to do it, you need to let me do it. You know? But I wasn't the type to fight other people just because they hold me back. That's just too much. So th that happened. I couldn't get to her. 
the end of the day, we in the bus parking lot. I see that bitch. And I said, it's old. Through my book bag, I'm going, I'm going to get her ass. And I, she knew I was going to whoop her. Everybody knew I was going to whoop her. If I was by myself to do it, and she was by herself, those other girls didn't go to the, to the same school. So they wasn't there. There were some girls from her neighborhood. She running. I'm running, she running that way. Nigga, I'm running that way, she running that way. <laughs> and she scared as fuck. Scared, bro. To today, I still don't like it. I still don't like it, y'all don't understand. That's why the, I, I am the way I am today because of the shit I went through back then, but um, I feel myself getting lifted from off the ground. And I'm running full speed, by the way. Man, my brother grabbed me so fast. Wild mid run. Pick me, scoop me up. Strong, strong with hair. I was like, what the fuck, nigga? Like, y'all already didn't jump in. You know what I'm saying? I'm 38 about that. But then you, you gonna stop me? From whooping her ass, just cause we, cause we at school, bro. Nah, you gonna get suspended, bro. Fuck up. Mm -hmm. You gonna get suspended. And I got one day. So, you let me get suspended for one day for not whooping her ass? There's another story time to that, too, because that next year I was not over it. <laughs> that next year I wasn't over it, and I was gonna whoop her ass again. Listen, I have gone through some shit. And I feel like. This is a good way for me to vent. I hold a lot of shit in. And I avoid a lot of shit. But y'all are here for me to express myself. I appreciate that shit. Let me know the next story time you want. Do you want the reason why that happened? I can tell you the reason why. In the next video, put head yet to the reason why. That is hilarious what happened. Like you got that in your feeling? To get me jumped? Did I fuck with him after I got jumped by her? Yeah, with my stupid ass. I'm telling you, I'm gonna keep these story times coming. So, I wanna do my own videos without anybody else's name being in the title. Consistently. And we're gonna have to start this way. I gotta train YouTube, okay? I love y'all. If y'all enjoyed this, you want another one? Let me know. We on to the next video. Peace out. Are you looking to get your shirt printed by Nick G the host? And not only get your shirt printed, get the fattest, the best, the baddest logo in the world and that's royalty apparel. And you can get it from me. Yes, me. I do everything. I print out the logo, I cut the logo, I pick the logo. I also make sure it's measured right so it won't be crooked on your shirt. Then I press it down Okay, one, two, three, pop open. Then you got the best logo out in the world, okay? And I gotta make sure that it's on correctly. Not only that, I gotta ship it. So I make sure it's on there, heat and press right. Then I make sure it's folded right. Package it right, okay, okay. Then you gotta close it so it can get to you on time, you know what I'm saying? Then, I put my P.O. box on a paper and I send it to your door. Let me know if you want your shirt printed. Go visit royaltiesworld.bigcartel.com and go get your shirt today. Peace out.